Okay, to make advanced stream animations, I'm gonna delete the old one and I'm gonna put this back on preview mode and I'll just delete this. We'll just drop another one when we're ready. So I'll make a geometry container, frame it with space H, name it stream guide, dive in there, delete the file node, create a circle. I'll just change it to the ZX plane, change it to a NURBS curve, set it to an open arc. And we're gonna go up here and we're gonna add a few parameters. We're gonna add a height and a length. Now the uh, rotation, uh, basically how many times the circle rotates around, uh, we're gonna multiply that by the length. So just do a channel, grab that. And then we'll put in a point SOP. And we'll break the expression with control shift left click on the Y. I want to enter a new one in here. What we're going to do is we're going to do the point number divided by the number of points. And that gives us a spiral. And we're going to multiply that by, we're going to multiply that by the circle. And the uh, height parameter. Oops, I put circle one. So now when we adjust the height, changes the height of this, and we change the length, it will change how many rotations we have. And now you'll notice it starts to get all wonky. We just need more divisions. So we'll set a division per rotation. So just multiply divisions by channel, and we'll do that times the length. Now, as we increase the length of the curve, the rotations will, uh, the divisions will also increase. And now we've got height. So this is going to be what wraps around the ghost. So I'm just gonna drop in a sphere. And this will represent our ghost for now, just uh, for simplicity. Just scale this down a little bit. Now, what we wanna have happen is we want the, uh, the stream that's wrapped around this to move with the ghost. So the way we'll do that is we're going to add a transform node. And we're going to link it to the position of the ghost. So let's rename this to ghost. And we're going to use an expression. We're going to do VT origin. of the ghost. So that's the second object. Basically what this does is it computes the translation to move one object from the other. So we're going to do the origin to the ghost. And we just want the X component of this vector. Copy that, paste it into the Y and the Z and just update the vector component. And we're going to take the same thing, except this time we're going to do VR for rotation. Now you notice it's moved up a little bit. We'll just add one more transform. And we can use this to just tweak the center point. So just pull the Y down. There we go. Now, if you go back up to the circle and you adjust the height, you'll see now it actually goes up and it'll control the number of wraps. Now, the best part is, is if we move the ghost, that will move with it. Now, the importance of doing that translation at SOP level and not at object level is significant because we're going to add another curve and attach it to that curve. So the easiest way to do that is just grab a curve and just draw it in like that. And just put down an edit. Go into point mode by hitting two, hit S for select, hit T to translate that, and just move all the points until you have them approximately where you want them. Well, there we go. Now, cut that, delete that,
go back into the stream guide and just paste these nodes in. Now what we want to do is turn on point numbers and you can see that endpoint's number five and over here that start point zero. So drop in a point. Now we're going to connect the endpoint to the location of the beginning point of this curve. So to do that, all you have to do is type five here so that it only affects point number five, break the expression here, and we're gonna use a point expression. So we're gonna go on X form one, and we're gonna connect it to point number zero. The parameter is P and we want the X component. Paste that into the Y and the Z. And now point five is connected to point zero of this one. Now we want to merge these together. And the order matters. So we want this one to be the first one, this one to be the second one. So that when the point numbers add up, zero is here and the highest point numbers at the end of that curve. Then we just do a join. which is going to connect these two curves together. Then we'll do a convert. And we'll make sure it's NURBS. Now, you'll notice that part's a little sharp. What I like to do is put down a delete and just delete uh, by range just delete the first two points here so see that's before the delete and that's oh you have to keep points i need to delete points so before the delete and after the delete it just deleted the first two points so that when we merge it there's now a gap there so when we join it you get a smoother connection here's the difference it's just a, a smoother connection between the two curves and actually if i take this convert pull it out, move it up to here. It'll probably work better. Yeah, there we go. So that looks pretty good. And we could even come back here and now adjust the divisions. So I have that 10 right now, put it down to eight. That just looks, uh, it matches the start of the curve a little better. So now, as our ghost moves, it's connected to that curve. So that's a lot less animation we have to deal with, and not to mention we get proper continuity between the two curves. Now, how to make that a stream. Drop in a proton stream, connect the stream guide, connect the ghost, hide the guide curve, and you can put a little animation on the ghost. I'm just gonna click that, we'll add a keyframe here, go to frame 48, Move the ghost over here, key that. Move the ghost over here. Maybe rotate it a little bit. Key that. 